Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm and welcome to Friendship Friday. I am going to make milk bread. I filmed this a little bit ago and um, I've been waiting to put it up. And it was a Herman recipe actually. It wasn't, it was from a different site that I usually go to. And I was, at that point I was trying different bread recipes to figure out what I liked and what I didn't like made with my sweet sourdough starter. And if this is your first time here, thank you so much. My name is Renee and I do videos on canning and cooking and baking and vintage recipes. And in December, I started this journey with Amish Friendship Starter, Herman, Sweet Sourdough, and have been having fun. And Angela, the inquisitive farm wife and I started in, in April, we have Friendship Fridays and it's an open collab that everyone can join in and send us pictures if you don't do videos. And show us what you're making with your starter because it's just not sweet bread. There's a lot of other options and recipes. And so we have a playlist for Friendship Fridays. And it, we also have a playlist for just all the other recipes that we've been doing. The starter is super simple to start on your own. There, I will put that down below, the starter recipe. And today I am going to stir my starter. And let me show you how bubbly it is. The video you're gonna see is making the milk bread. And let me give you my review of it. I liked it as a sandwich bread. After a couple of days though, it got denser. So I don't know if I should have baked it more because I do need to revisit this and try it to get it perfect. Um, maybe it didn't rise the right way. I need, to, but it was good. I made lunch meat and cheese sandwiches on it and they were wonderful. And um, I used it for French toast and it was good for that. So I do recommend it, but it might need some tweaking and it depends on your family's taste because it was a heavier, denser loaf. So let me show you my starter. Can you see all those bubbles? <laughs> And there's quite a bit in here and I need to bake it, something with it, so I will make um, something sweet. Let's get to making milk bread. Today I'm gonna to try and make like a sandwich bread. It's a milk bread and I'm gonna try it because I do the artisan, which we love, but Jim would like more traditional type bread. So let's push this over here. I'm going to get my bowl and you, I use my stainless steel bowls when I'm making my doughs or my batters. I have not had an issue with that. I use glass or plastic for storing it in and for feeding it. And I don't use metal utensils until I'm like, I'm going to use my dough hook to mix this up. So the first step is we need six cups of flour in this bowl and I am going to use um, bread flour. It's my preference for making breads usually. Not always, but usually. I'm going to take my fork and kind of fluff it up. So I'll continue until I have six cups. again and I'll do the last three cups and bring it back okay got it done and got it on me I'm gonna set this over now we're gonna make a well kind of in the middle of this let me change the angle for you and we're gonna add two cups of the starter, which is bubbles are coming to the top as we speak. I don't know if you can see them, maybe there, but it's bubbling up. It is a very happy starter. Get 
get some off the sides here. Pour that in that well. It don't smell so good. It has that tanginess, but a sweetness. I just love the smell of it. And if you notice, it's getting more like an acetone smell. It needs to be fed. So add, you know, some sugar and flour to it. I had that happen once and then within an hour it was back to smelling good. So I caught it in time. Okay, this is gonna go in the sink. Okay, it calls for two teaspoons of yeast. No, four teaspoons of yeast, sorry about that. It calls for four teaspoons of yeast. didn't want to add the yeast, you could probably do a slow ferment in the fridge overnight. This is going to be made today. We need two teaspoons of salt. And I'm going to kind of mix that in where the flour is. I don't want it directly on the yeast. We need two tablespoons of butter melted and let it slightly cool. And then we're gonna add some milk. And I did um, warm up the milk so it's not totally chilled. And you start with three quarters of a cup and you can add up to a cup and a half. Start with this and then I will switch to the dough hook. And we're going to get it mixed and knead it some and then let it set for an hour to rise. Okay, let's switch over now. of what was left, so like an eighth, and I think I'm going to need the rest too. Add the rest. There's a lot of dry stuff on the bottom. This smells very rich. Okay, I'm going to start kneading it because then it will start to work together and if I need to add some more flour or anything I can then okay let's get this out set the bowl aside because we will need it I'll take off my ring I'm bad about that and we want to knead this till it becomes nice and smooth and soft if it's too sticky, you know, you can add some more flour, but the more you work it, it comes together. Okay, it's starting to come together. You can do this with a dough hook in your KitchenAid or whatever kind of mixer you have. Feels dense. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm gonna need it a little bit more. I'm used to a little softer dough. Just not as like marshmallow, marshmallowy feeling, but it's soft. I mean, and it's not sticking bad, so it's not. It's supposed to make two nice size loaves. 
get my bowl. I'm gonna put some oil in here. Give it a swirl, flip it over. Okay, I'm gonna get some plastic wrap to put over this. And I'm gonna put it in my oven with the light on and set my timer for an hour. Okay, it has been an hour. Now, this same bowl with my other bread gets up to here, but it has grown and it has doubled. I have two large bread pans. Um, flour, flour. I have two bread, large bread pans greased. You can spray them. I just use butter. Sprinkle a little bit of flour. We're going to divide this in two. It feels denser. We'll see what happens. It's soft when you touch it. sure it's relaxed enough. So let's start rolling, tucking, rolling, and tucking. in, seal them off. We're going to put it seam side down in the pan. it. It smells good. It's a rich smelling. Okay, there we go. We got a rectangle. So let's start rolling and tucking. Pinch to seal. Both ends, tuck it in, pinch it. Okay. It actually worked up really nice. I'm gonna stick these both back in the oven with just the light on and set the timer for 30 minutes. Okay, I'm a little concerned they haven't 
risen as much. They're nice and soft. I don't know. Maybe it's just the kind of bread it is. We'll give it a try. Got the oven on preheating. Here they are out. I need to flip them over and take them out of the pans and let them rest for a few minutes, two minutes. Um, I did put butter on the top. That one split some there on the side. let them cool before we slice into them. They're a heavier loaf, but I think it's the different style bread with having starter in it, you know, it's just a different texture, but it smells really good though. Mm. some butter on it. It's very good. It has a different texture than like my my Amish white bread video. But it's got a little crunch on the outside. It has great flavor. It's soft. They make a good sandwich that doesn't fall apart. What I like is the flavor. It has so much flavor with like a little bit of sweetness, the, I guess the milk, the melted butter, but it just, it's not bland at all. Herman Milk Bread. And I'll have the link to the recipe down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time at Pike Creek Farm.